Ever wonder why families never get a fair shake from the Michigan Supreme Court? Lucille, where are my judges? Just where they've always been, right in your pocket. Just follow the money. Justices Markman, Taylor, and Young have been given hundreds of thousands by insurance companies and big business. They have the money, but you have the voice. Justice should not be for sale. Is justice for sale in Ohio? You decide. Since 1994, Justice Alice Resnick has taken more than $750,000 from personal injury lawyers. Justice Resnick ruled in favor of trial lawyers who had contributed to her campaign nearly 70% of the time. After a union leader and big contributor complained about a ruling Resnick made, Resnick became the only justice to reverse herself in the case. Alice Resnick, is justice for sale? children into the house. Once inside, the three children were sexually molested. A four-year-old girl raped. Her brothers sodomized. A Belleville man was arrested and convicted of the crime after trying to develop pictures of the abuse. Despite prosecutors' objections, Judge Lloyd Carmeyer gave him probation, saying the court should grant leniency. Another case where Carmeyer let a violent criminal out into the community. Lloyd Carmeyer, the wrong choice for Supreme Court. Tired of lost jobs? Skyrocketing car insurance bills? Doctors leaving the state? Tired of rich, greedy lawyers? Irrational judges? Self-serving lifetime politicians? Tired of our kids being victimized, but criminals going free? Then you're tired of Judge Warren McGraw. Radical McGraw. Too many lies. Too expensive. Too dangerous. West Virginia deserves better. He was adorable. Stevie had just turned three years old before he was beaten and tortured to death. The Anders decision let my son's killer walk free after serving less than a third of his murder sentence. You could have a convicted murderer released on the Anders decision next door, and you wouldn't even know it. If Justice Alexander hadn't have voted for this decision, this wouldn't have happened. Judge Alexander is way out of touch with this issue. I'm here supporting John Groen, because John Groen is four victims and their families. Alabama's greedy trial lawyers spend big bucks opposing our conservative values. Take the case of Judge Tom Parker. Parker accepted more than one quarter of a million dollars from liberal trial lawyers, then he tried to conceal it. The trial lawyer's liberal agenda helps to drive up the costs of goods and services and erodes our family values. Learn more about Tom Parker and his ties to liberal trial lawyers. One story is a fairy tale, the other's a nightmare. The fairy tale, Sleeping Beauty. The nightmare, the sleeping judge, Cliff Taylor. Judge Taylor fell asleep several times in the middle of our argument. How could he judge based on the facts when he was asleep? Taylor was voted the worst judge on the state Supreme Court, and fellow judges called for an investigation of Taylor for misconduct and abuse of power. The sleeping judge, Cliff Taylor, he needs a wake-up call. Unbelievable. Shadowy special interests supporting Lewis Butler are attacking Judge Michael Gableman. It's not true. Judge, District Attorney Michael Gableman has committed his life to locking up criminals to keep families safe, putting child molesters behind bars for over a hundred years. Lewis Butler worked to put criminals on the street, like Reuben Lee Mitchell, who raped an 11-year-old girl with learning disabilities. Butler found a loophole. Mitchell went on to molest another child. Can Wisconsin families feel safe with Lewis Butler on the Supreme Court? Mike Bolin took money linked to BP Oil, the same oil company that's destroying our Gulf Coast. Why does it matter? 
because after Bull and took money linked to Exxon, he allowed the oil giant to cheat Alabama taxpayers. Liberal Bullen is just as soft on criminals. Last month, he reversed the murder conviction of a robber who killed a handicapped man. That's liberal Judge Bullen. He sides with oil companies and he's soft on crime. Some in the ruling class say it's wrong for voters to hold Supreme Court judges accountable for their decisions. There is no such thing as an activist judge. When activist judges on Iowa Supreme Court imposed gay marriage, they were the only judges within 1,200 miles to reach such a radical conclusion. If they can redefine marriage, none of the freedoms we hold dear are safe from judicial activism. To hold activist judges accountable, flip your ballot over and vote no on retention of Supreme Court justices. First, BP in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, Enbridge Energy in the Kalamazoo River. According to Supreme Court Justice Bob Young, Michigan citizens cannot hold Enbridge or any other oil company accountable when they pollute our lakes or rivers. Young overturned a 30-year-old law that held polluters accountable. Maybe that's why Young was rated the worst judge on the Michigan Supreme Court. Bob Young, polluters don't pay. Michigan taxpayers do. Justice Bob Young doesn't deserve another eight-year term on the Michigan Supreme Court. Fellow Republican Justice Elizabeth Weaver, that's who. She said Bob Young used the word slut and the N-word in deliberations with other justices. What was Bob Young's response? He blamed Justice Weaver for reporting his racial and sexist slurs. Sorry, Bob. Now we all know. Call Bob Young and tell him we don't need a racist or a sexist on the Michigan Supreme Court.